Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about throttle position sensors. Um, I did a separate video about uh, removing and cleaning the throttle body uh, in your car, which uh, also involves removing the throttle position sensor, which is an integral part of the throttle body. So uh, I'm not going to uh, spend too much time uh, talking about the actual removing of the sensor in this video. Um, in my Ford Duratec HE, you need to remove the throttle body to um, access the throttle position sensor because it's kind of tucked away in an inaccessible location. Uh, but on most cars, yeah, you can often access the uh, position sensor directly without needing to disassemble the throttle body. So the throttle uh, position sensor is a um, simple and cheap potentiometer, usually which uh, sits on the throttle plate rod and it measures how open the throttle plate is. In other words, um, how much you've shoved the accelerator to the floor. Now I should say that this video uh, doesn't apply directly to cars. A lot of modern cars have drive-by wire throttle bodies, uh, which means that there's no cable linkage between the accelerator pedal and the throttle body. Uh, although those electronic throttle bodies do still have throttle position sensors, what you see me doing in this video is uh, dealing with the mechanical linkage setup. So the computer measures the voltage that the throttle position sensor supplies to it. Uh, usually they're in a range between 0 0.9 and 5 volts, uh, 0 0.9 being completely closed throttle and 5 volts being wide open throttle and uh, the computer uses that measurement to uh, just work out exactly how open the throttle body plate is and uh, you know feeds that information into its tune and uh, allows it to operate fuel injection correctly. So problems with a, a faulty throttle position sensor may um, manifest in a rolling idle uh, the engine stalling or failure to start, or you could get surging uh, or erratic acceleration if the uh, throttle position is si uh, sensor is sort of sticking. Um, but there's all the same symptoms can be other problems and often are. So if you found this video because you're thinking that you have a faulty throttle position sensor, uh, what we'll do here is just talk about how to eliminate the TPS um, using a cheap scan tool and without having to back probe the sensor with a digital multimeter or having to disassemble the throttle body. So uh, you want to turn the ignition on but don't run the engine. And uh, what I have here is a uh, cheap Bluetooth OBD2 scan tool and it's talking to my phone. Uh, using Bluetooth is useful because it allows me to uh, use the phone or tablet or whatever it is I'm using um, in the engine bay without needing to worry about a cable being long enough to reach. And what I'm using here is Forescan, um, which is uh, software uh, designed for Ford and Master specifically. And it works well on my Android, uh, but you, you could use any generic app, uh, any software on a laptop, That's that would be fine. What we want to do is measure the throttle position sensor voltage. So in your software, you want to search for PIDs uh, that mention the throttle. And uh, what I found here is uh, one that's labeled TP underscore V. That stands for throttle position voltage. And I put that in a graph view uh, so that we can chart the throttle position sensor actually working. And uh, this is one advantage, one other advantage uh, to using a digital multimeter uh, that, and just directly measuring the voltage unless you have a really sophisticated DMM that can uh, chart voltage uh, over time then you wouldn't be able to generate the uh, this graph so now what i'm doing is simply operating the throttle using my thumb um, just directly at the throttle body you could also sit in the driver's seat and do exactly the same thing using the accelerator pedal that would be fine um, this is just an, uh, allowing me to sort of show you more directly what's happening at the throttle body so do it super slowly and as steadily as you can and the voltage should go up and up and up and it'll generate a chart line like you see here. And again, the maximum is five volts. So it'll top out at five volts once you've depressed the, uh, once you've turned the throttle body plate all the way to its maximum. And then once you're there, release the throttle back, let it go down in the same way, uh, all the way back down to the minimum until it's uh, sitting in its relaxed state, fully closed. 
So the line that you generate will be a direct measure of your operating the throttle. So if you did it smoothly, then um, you should have a relatively straight line like you see here. There shouldn't be any levels where it sticks or jumps around. Um, and if you have no measurement at all, if it's just sort of flat lining at, at zero or, or 0 0.9, then maybe the throttle position sensor has died. Uh, or it could be a connection fault or even a fault with the uh, the computer in the car. So then you need to look at the other possibilities and do more testing. You may need to back probe the sensor in order to check that the uh, sensor cabling is giving the, th the, uh, the sensor voltage. Uh, but if it works as shown here, then you can eliminate the throttle position sensor and its wiring and the computer as your potential flaws. And you can go on to look at other things. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Have fun.